What's up guys, Corey Sandman Sandhagen here. Welcome to the station where we go over everything martial arts. We dabble in some dumb shit here and there. We do some book recommendations here and there. So make sure that you guys like and subscribe. Today we're gonna go over Jalen Turner versus Bobby Green, all right? I'll say it up front. This is probably the most impressive looking striking that I've seen in a really, really long time. Jalen Turner is a phenomenal athlete. Not only athlete, but his technique is clean. I can tell in his interviews that he's a pretty cerebral guy in the way that he thinks and in the way that he thinks about the sport, which I think is cool and admirable. And also there's a utility to being a better fighter by being a better thinker. Jalen Turner has it all. Let's get into why he was able to beat Bobby Green so significantly, even though the stoppage was, you know, not good. Maybe fire that guy, but let's get into what happened. All right, guys, first things first, let's get into why I was so impressed with Jalen Turner, okay? So I had a sports and, sports and conditioning coach tell me one time that their definition of an athlete was how quickly they can go from a relaxed muscle to an explosive muscle. I think Jalen Turner really encompasses that type of athlete. And of course, there's all different types of athletes, like power athletes, quick athletes, agile athletes, athletes with better, better coordination than other ones. But Jalen Turner has this like really cool, unique, fast twitch ability to kind of go from being this stocky, like really long, intimidating, like uh, it just looks cool, like scarecrow type guy, where he's here like this, marching people down, and then he'll kind of fade, fade, and then connect to the floor really hard. So a little bit quicker, it looks like he's kind of being here, fading, boom, boom, and hits. That's awesome. That's like a very unique thing to have to deal with. I know that Bobby Green took this on like last minute or whatever, but when you're getting ready, oh, he didn't? Oh, Turner took it last minute. Oh, Yeah, so Bobby Green was scheduled to fight someone else and then Jalen Tur Turner took it on like really short notice. So I do want to go over this, guys. When you're getting ready for an opponent like Bobby Green was, I don't know who he was fighting, but when he's getting ready for one opponent and then the opponent changes, Sometimes that works for the person that was already training really hard, was already prepped and ready, just like how Bobby Green was. Sometimes it's better for the more unique, either whether it be in their body type or their style, sometimes it pays off better for the person that is that. So when Bobby Green takes a short notice fight against Jalen Turner, who already has a very unique body build and a very unique style to him, it can be very difficult to have to flip the script from fighting one person to fighting someone that's very unique in their build and in their style. So right off of the bat, I would even say that even though Jalen Turner took it on short notice, sometimes the more unique guy in those situations is definitely at the advantage. So Bobby Green takes fight against Jalen Turner. Jalen Turner is like this like super athletic, like I love his style, like I can't even go over it. Everything is efficient, his techniques are good, he plugs all the right things into his unique style, you know, like if you're a little tiny guy, the likelihood that you're like throwing jumping knees and flying knees isn't that likely, like short guy doesn't plug in very well with very good knees. Just like how tall guy style doesn't really work well with shooting some double legs sometimes. So. Jalen Turner does everything right in the tools that he uses, the style that he has, and in the efficiency of all of his techniques and in in whatever he's doing. This like really stocky, like kind of like confident, like has some swagger to him, boom, scores, landing right hands, lands like a really awesome, kind of like fade away, boom, plants, lands like a nasty cross hook that scored really ni nice on Bobby Green. Um, Super impressed, super awesome, okay? Let's get into where Bobby Green kind of made the mistake. Bobby Green is also one of these guys that connects to the floor really good, lunges in, and develops a lot of power in this plyometric -y way versus this like very powerful, I throw my weight into the other side of my body type way. Bobby Green throws his power more like he's moving, connects to the floor, drives, and throws his right hand really hard off of this push. Like I bet you Bobby Green jumps really, really high just based off of the amount of power that he gets from just this little movement here. Um, 
don't laugh at that, dude. That wasn't any, people are going to kill me about that, but it's because of the way that he connects to the floor and that's it. Okay. <laughs> um, so Bobby Green, he likes doing this type of move where he throws his rear shoulder forward. And again, he's able to generate a ton of power on this backhand because he uses the floor and not a ton of rotation in the way that he punches. When you punch, there is a level of rotation that occurs. That's like one way to develop power. Like if I don't use my feet at all and I rotate my body, I can get like a pretty good smack on my punches. If I don't rotate on my body, so if I'm gonna throw my right hand and I'm like this, there's not a lot of rotation happening compared to this. If I am gonna be this guy, I have to use the floor to get some power from this. So Bobby Green does that really awesome. Drives into the floor, gets a ton of power on his right hands, uh, left hands too, but like he does this kind of like, hit me, boom, you can't see this coming because there's no load and there's no rotation in my shoulder, okay? But it kind of like went a little bit south, you know, and also not to not ride Jalen Turner any more than I already have, but Jalen Turner also made perfect reads. Like anything that happened, he adjusted to it perfectly. But Bobby Green kind of like leans a little bit like this on the one like uh, double jab cross that Jalen went to hurt him with. Throws the double jab cross, just pumps it just to get a reaction, just to get this to happen to Bobby Green. He pumps it a little bit lands the right hand, it almost just hits the shoulder. Like Bobby Green was maybe like this much of a reaction half a second away from getting away from this punch. But he wasn't able to, it kind of skimmed and bounced off his shoulder and hit him in the head, okay? And you see the way that he kind of went down. I've talked about this in the past videos. When you get hit in this spot or like weird spots in your temple, it more takes away your equilibrium more than it makes you feel like you're concussed or that like, um, uh, like it doesn't turn your jaw, like it doesn't turn the lights off as much as it just makes you be like, whoa, what the fuck, where are my legs? And then you come back to, okay? So Jalen Turner, boom, skimps it. It hits Bobby Green kind of in this back area, like in the top of his head, which again, like I said, like you can't fake that. Like he was on stilts because his legs um, showed that, but that's what happens when you get hit here. Bobby Green falls down. Jalen Turner jumps on top of him. The ref was too busy, I don't know, looking at the ring girls or whatever the fuck that dude was doing. Um, you know, really nasty stoppage. I hope that Bobby Green's okay because I was really fucked up. Um, but yeah, like and subscribe, guys. That's the video. Let me know if you guys want to see anything else, certain fights, all of this stuff. Peace.